What's up guys, how's everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jeremy and today we are finally gonna be doing an installation video on my 2019 Dodge Challenger SXT. This is the product that we're gonna be installing today. It is the high output LED headlight conversion kit from Oracle Lighting. Now this is probably one of the best companies that you can order this from. Um, I searched around online for quite some time to find the right LED headlights for me. And um, there were some cheaper ones that I was looking at, but you know, I love this car. So I wanted to spend the extra money to get the best that I could. So that's what led me to Oracle Lighting. So looking on the front of the package right here, it tells you the product features. It is a 6,000K pure white color, 4,000 plus lumen light output. Um, you can see it has a smaller bulb design, slimmer LED driver design, adjustable truck angle, so that way you can adjust the lights. Um, and it does come with a full two year warranty. That's the package. So if we go ahead and unbox it, slide this off. Right here, this is the warranty information. And then it does come with a decal in case you wanted to put this on your car so that people know that you're rocking the best. But looking right here, this is what the product looks like. You can see this is uh, the driver. Let me see. Yeah, I think these are the uh, drivers for the lights. And then if you were to pull the actual light out, this is what it looks like. It has a little bit of weight to it. You can feel it's a real high quality. You can see it's got the LED there right there see oracle right there on the side these are uh these connections right here are waterproof so you don't have to worry about water getting in there and uh, just feels real high quality so uh, i'm really happy that i purchased these instead of some cheaper uh, ebay ones so let's go ahead and start the installation process First things first, I just want to say I apologize for the freaking disgusting engine bay in my Challenger. Um, I detailed the car yesterday. I think I got it looking really good, but when I went to go clean up the engine bay, the engine was freaking hot, so I didn't want to risk it. So um, I apologize for that. So we're just going to have to ignore that throughout the video. But for the sake of this video, I'm going to be working on the passenger side. So in order to access the uh, headlight housing in the back, you're going to want to remove this cover. It's pretty easy. You just uh, lift up right here, then the whole thing just kind of pops out. There's one little clip right over here that'll pop out, and then you can just set this to the side. Now that that cover is removed, um, the headlight housing is right here. So this is gonna be kind of tricky to show you on the video, but uh, there is a dust cap right here that you're gonna wanna twist off to remove. And then once that is removed, you'll have access to the light bulb. So you just want to twist this off. That is the dust cap. This is what sits on the back so the dust and uh, moisture doesn't get into the actual headlight housing. So I want you to have that off, set that to the side, and uh, then you can just go ahead and reach in. And it's easier if you reach on the other side of this bar. You can feel the headlight bulb in there. You can go ahead and just twist that out. Now it is kind of an awkward fit to uh, do this, but... Uh, once you twist that out you can bring it around this is the stock halogen bulb so then you can go ahead and just uh, release that tab right there to release this bulb and then we can go ahead and disconnect that so let me see if i can do it with one hand and so you just want to go ahead and release this tab and pull out and that will disconnect this bulb now when you go to install your new 9012 LED headlight from Oracle Lighting. First thing that you want to do is you want to connect the LED light bulb with the driver. Now in order to do that, you want to connect these two ends. You can see that they go together. This has the metal prongs on the inside. So you want to go ahead and just connect these push them together like so. And then you want to go ahead and move this piece up and it secures nice and tight right there. That's what's going to give it that nice watertight seal. Now you want to go ahead and connect this side right here with the plug for the headlight. And you, it only goes one way. You can see that this plug right here has the notch on it. So it's going to go up top like this. You want to go ahead and just insert it like so. 
just like that. And then you can go ahead and take the LED headlight and you can uh, go ahead and insert in the headlight housing and you're gonna rotate it counterclockwise in order to tighten it. All right, so after wiggling it around for a little bit, you can get the light installed and uh, you can see we still have these uh, hanging down right here. But before you go ahead and seal it up and everything, you just wanna go ahead and turn on your lights and uh, see how it looks. So as you can see, we have the LED light on the uh, passenger side, and then that is still the factory halogen bulb on the right side. There is a big color difference. Um, the LED light just looks a lot brighter. It's a lot more of a pure white color, and honestly, it just makes the car look a lot newer. So now that I have the passenger side installed, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the driver's side off camera, since uh, it's the same thing as the other side. And then uh, once I get installed, we'll go ahead and have a look at the finished product. All right, and now just a couple minutes later, we have uh, both LEDs installed. We have the passenger and the driver's side installed, and it just looks so much better, honestly. Um, the halogen bulbs just made this car look a lot older than it actually is. This is a 2019, and those halogen bulbs just, <laughs> those were not a good look. Those were definitely not the move. Um, I think that since it's 2020, cars should just be coming standard with LEDs or HIDs. I don't think halogens should even be a thing anymore. But if you have the halogens and you don't like it, this is definitely a viable option for you to do. Now, one last thing before this installation is complete is Oracle does send you a set of zip ties in case you want to zip tie the cables just to make it look a little bit better. So if that's what you want to do, you can choose to do so. If not, it's not mandatory. You don't have to but uh, I'm gonna do it just to make it look uh, a little bit better. All right, I went ahead and zip tied these. There wasn't a really good spot on the driver's side to do the zip ties. So I just zip tied it to that bolt right there. And then on the passenger side, I just zip tied it to that harness. So now the installation is complete. It looks amazing, but uh, you know, since these are LED headlights, uh, you know, I wanna show you the whole reason why you might be choosing to uh, do this modification and uh, we're gonna take a look at it at night. So here we go.